I haven't had power for five days, just got it back, still no internet, so making videos a little bit challenging. So, it took me 20 minutes to get Universe Sandbox 2 up and running, had to use my phone as a hotspot to get Steam up and running. Very fun, so let's, let's get started. I'm gonna make a bunch of short videos that I can like spread out over the week. Um, sorry, but with the situation, it's the best I can do, so... <sighs> let's begin. Someone wanted me to make another terraforming video. Um, I remember that from the comments in my last video. Can't check, but um, I want to think of something fun to terraform. Something a little bit different. So maybe series. Maybe where it is. That would be a little bit interesting. Trying to terraform something a bit smaller, very far out from the sun. How could we possibly change that? Maybe if we threw something at it, we could fix that up real quickly. So, how about we hit series with itself? Stop hitting yourself, series. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. That could cause explosive proportions of, of, of destruction. I don't know. Alright. Let's do it. We're gonna try to hit series from the side to try to get its orbit to change. Oh! D damn! I had it going a little bit too fast, didn't I? Alright, looks like it did hit. Looks like the simulation didn't really register the hit, though. Ugh. Alright, we'll try this again. We'll try head-on to try to slow it down, because slowing down its orbit will make its orbit smaller, which will get it closer to the sun. Please collide, child. Please collide with your twin and form an even larger twin. This is not how genetics work, by the way! Wow, really just gobbled up your sibling there. That was a very nice series. Wow, it really didn't slow down much either. What? The entire purpose of doing that is now no longer purposeful. Oh well, that's how it goes. I mean, at least it warmed up a bit for a second. It's done a negative 60 again. We're gonna have to try a little bit harder to get it to uh, change. Oh! Oh, look at that! This end of its uh, orbit's actually a little bit lower. Aha! Alright, well then we'll do the same thing over here. We'll, we'll hit it with two. How about that? Two, two twins. Man, now they're triplets. Damn. What are the chances? Alright, here we go. This is... This is quite a bit of- oh wow, that's a lot of force! <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, what happened to the orbit now? Oh, it's, it's still... Damn, how fast is this moving? 18 kilometers per second? Alright, so we need to hit it with something equal to it, which it's now a way more massive than it used to be at about 18, 19 kilometers per second. Fine, alright. If you want to play this game, I will play this game because this is literally a game and, and I am playing it. Crazy, I know. Alright, here we go. We'll try this again. We're gonna hit it, but this time we're going for the, the big points. We're gonna go to the motion, the, the speed, and the- oh yeah. Yeah, let's, let's bring this to 10 kilometers per second. Hopefully this doesn't rip it apart completely. Wow. All right. Give me a second. All right. We're going to make it pause on collide because that's so smart people do. Uh, oh, <laughs> it's just going to keep pausing. All right. I thought it would turn it off after the first time. Whoops. There. Oh, wow. Beautiful, beautiful collision there. It ejected a lot of material. It was going so fast. Really did heat up series a bit. Uh, it's not vaporizing itself anymore, but it did lose a lot of material from that one. But we had to do... Oh, wow, that's kind of pinkish. Neat. Uh, we had to do it, and that should have... Oh, that really modified its uh, orbit. Look at that. We're over by Mars now. All right, I believe in us. Ooh, that was that was a good one. That was really nice. If we get another hit like that, we might be able to finish this off, get it into a habitable area, and actually uh, figure out the mass issue and all the other issues. This may be a problem though. I think it's very small now. 
I don't think it's doing very well after all that. Oh no, it's still larger. Alright. I'm worrying for nothing. That's that's normal. That's normal for me. Okay, slow it down. Two hops this time. Go over to kilometers per second. Hit it at another 10 kilometers per second. I hate it when a giant rock hits me at 10 kilometers per second. It can really ruin your day. Uh, t take that from me, the professional on throwing rocks at each other. Did anyone else do that when they were little? Get told not to do it because you'll get like a rock in your eye and then you do it anyways and then you break a rock open and you're, you're like, ah, oh, damn, there's no gold in there. Sad. Ha. All right. This is serious, seriously getting... Ugh, I really tried. <laughs> I really tried. Um, Come on. Come on, that, that has got to have done what we need. All right, let's see where it goes after that. That, uh, what are we looking at now? What are we looking at now? Oh. Oh, we're definitely under Mars orbit now. Getting close to Earth orbit. Nice. Oh, we're so close. All right, I think one more impact. This one is going to have to be a little bit faster. Um, we are going to have to really, really smack it. All right. We're going to do 20. 20 kilometers per second. We're going to try to get it to make sure we have the right series here. And then we're just going to go to the kilometers per second, go to 20, and it's going to go kerblow. Ker kerblow? Kerplow? Kablamo? All right, there we go. Ready? Ooh, this is gonna be a nice one. Ooh, hoo -hoo. went straight into it. That was that was a really clean collision. Wow, I can actually see the amount it knocked it off course. That is that is significant. Look look at that. It was going straight, and now it's wow. All right, it's it is kind of venting itself right now. Hopefully it stops doing that. Okay. All right. Under Mars orbit. Under Earth orbit. Ooh, very close to the sun now. But that's enough to get it to... Oh, come on. Stay stable at, like, a little bit. Oh, come on. Come on. Ah, it's gonna freeze. But we can fix that. Honestly, an oblong orbit like this, um, we could work with it. It's a little bit dangerous with Mars there. They kind of intersect perfectly, but, eh, you know, eh, no, there, there's a lot of distance there. Never mind. Um, actually, that temperature is pretty damn stable. It goes down, it goes up, goes down, goes, oh, it, it's actually rising. Ooh. Okay, dipping a little bit depends on the time step. We've we've experienced this issue before. That, that's pretty good. It's pretty stable if we could just get it a little bit higher. Ah, and I know how we can do that. Let's give it an atmosphere. Do 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 do. God, I love having an atmosphere. Great experience. Honestly, I give the atmosphere as a 10 out of 10. Oh, here we go. It's at... Uh, it's getting a little hot. All right, that's not really what I wanted. Um, oh, actually, you know what? 30 isn't that bad. In the, in the planetary scheme of things, that's actually not terrible. All right. Fantastic. Look at that. That's really odd orbit. You can definitely... This, the temperature definitely swings quite a bit and really wouldn't want to be there during the summer, but during the winter, eh, it's pretty comfortable. And I mean, technology will allow people to live pretty comfortably no matter what. We have invented air conditioning just to get 800 AC units. It'll be fine. All right, one last thing. Uh, we definitely do need water. So let's sprinkle some of that good stuff. Excuse me. Excuse me. Would you like agua? Yes, you would like agua. 
Let's add some agua. 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 All right. Water. Water go brr. Oh! No, it's venting the water off like instantly. It doesn't have enough mass. All right, let's give it a little bit more mass. I mean, compared to the moon, we've got, oh my God, it's absolutely tiny. All right. Look at it grow. All right, we'll do 1.7 times the size of the moon. And that's reasonable. I still want it to be smaller than Earth. I kind of want it to be like, you know, chill little area. Changing the mass like that will probably modify the temperature. No. No, it didn't. Probably should have, but it didn't. Alright, well, I guess the same proportion is light and the same proportion is dark, but uh, volume increases far faster than surface area, so I'm just going to ignore that and pretend. We're going to pretend that that isn't an issue. Alright, now let's just sprinkle some water. God, I love water sprinkles. It's still throwing the water away! Are you kidding me? What the heck, man? What is up with that? Alright, can, can, you, can you at least explain? Fine, more mass, I get it. Oh, oh, it actually has a little bit of water on it still. Not much. Um, clearly we need to raise... We'll do... Four times the size of the moon. I mean, now we're not even close to Earth still. All right, can you handle more water now? No, it gets, it's still getting triggered. All right. All right, how about a fifth of the Earth? Huh, more like a quarter. Can you handle it now? Oh my God, I can handle it now. Yes. Agua. Oh man, look, look at that. Oh, oh, there's the crater. The crater from us literally throwing massive planet at it. That, that's great. That's nice. All right. Seems pretty cool to me. Seems pretty gravy. How are you all doing? You're like, this man is making a big ocean, and you're right, this man is making a big ocean in a crater. Call it Crater Ocean, because it's an ocean in a crater. All right, good enough, the water will just move itself. Oh, look at that, that's beautiful. Beautiful, and we'll finish it off by giving it some nice colors and seeing if the game has decided that it's, oh, it's 76%, 40% chance of having life. Come on, come on, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. Uh, I like the atmosphere color. Change the cloud color to something more vibrant. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe just a little bit pinkish. I don't want to make the high and a white mountains and then we'll make the middle a little bit like a dark green I don't like the forests near the mountains and then the low we'll do like sandy beautiful beaches think of this as like a place to retire you know oh yeah look at that look at that beach that is real nice oh I I like that. That is that is a good looking planet. I mean, for a moment, just think about living here. Oh no, it ran away. What? Oh, I hate it when my house runs away from me. Or my planet. When my planet runs. Oh my god, I can't even. Excuse me. No, I, I just, I don't want to have anything selected. Why? No, I didn't mean to do. <laughs> Why does this happen to me? I just literally don't want anything to be selected. There we go, finally. Okay, you know, it's a good looking planet. Seasons are a little rough, but if you can live with that, it's it's a good place to live. All right, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Uh, if you leave a like, you will get a nice little beach house over there, and I will see you all next time. 
beautiful, beautiful planet.